Active Investor here, bringing you another independent analysis. This time we're taking another look at ticker symbol PTX. That's Pernix Therapeutics Holdings Incorporated. So you guys know I've done a lot of uh, PTX analysis throughout the last few months. I think I've done three of them already. This will be number four. And the chart we're looking at today, by the way, is a 15 minute chart. So each candlestick on this chart is gonna be 15 minutes of trading. We go back two days here, because this is gonna be a nice focus on the overall trend and give us a picture of what we need to do for this thing to continue. So, two days ago, this thing broke through the channel down here at the bottom. We had a channel, uh, let me just change that. We had this channel that we were sitting at for a while, broke through it two days ago. That channel was between 62 and a half to about 65 and a half cents. Broke it really bullishly yesterday, making some really nice higher highs all the way up. And then we kind of got denied at this area of resistance. Well, that area of resistance became support today and we almost broke into a new channel above $1. So it would have been a great day for PTX. Unfortunately, that didn't quite happen. So let's just kind of go over what those ranges are. So this one we already mentioned, it's about 62 and a half to 65 and a half cents. That's the bottom range here. And we actually did end up bouncing off that right before the close. So it's good that that support held, but at the same time, the gains that we had the last two days pretty much got erased, which is obviously not the most ideal situation for the longs or the bulls. So let's kind of take a look at what the overall trend is. So that top pivot point is going to be 89 cents flat right here. Looking at 89 cents. So ideally this 89 cent point would have held. Now, interestingly enough, if we draw a trend line from this beginning bullish candle here and connect it, you can see that this was indeed a perfect trend line. We are making some nice higher lows on this chart here on this trend line rather on the chart. So we got there came and tested it here, and then here all along, and then finally broke down with this giant red candle. So, we were uptrending very, very strongly, then some massive selling off happened. The volume here in these two candles was greater than the volume that we had on this bullish candle here that really started this uptrend. You know, we opened and we kinda trailed off a little bit, fell to some support. We still opened green, kinda bounced off the trend line of the 50 SMA there, and then really when this volume came in here and gave us this nice fat green candle, that's when we really started pushing up and made that high of 104. Then the volume on these two candles, two times the equivalent of this just about. So pretty insane volume there. And this thing just absolutely fell down, broke through the 89 cent support. And then it was just not even staircase mode. It was just literally a falling knife at that point. Luckily, like I said, it held the 65 and a half pivot point down here didn't fall back down to this range, so that's good. And it kind of bounced back up. But overall, the trend is definitely down now. You can see we have the 50, the 20, and the 13 SMAs all in the bearish order. Over here, this is the order that we want to see them in as we are making those nice higher highs and higher lows on that trend line. The SMAs were blue, green, and yellow. That's 13, 20, and 50. And over here, they reversed. Interestingly enough, you don't normally see them reverse this fast. Usually, you'll see maybe, uh, you know, you'll see a convergence and then the 13 will cross over the 20, rather the 20 will cross over the 13, and then somewhere further the 50 will cross below the 20, or above the 20. Kind of got that reversed. But right here they all pretty much crossed at once, which indicated just how powerful the selling pressure was. So we go down here and look at the R side at the bottom, you can see obviously we were oversold there. Massive selling pressure, pushing us all the way to oversold. And the last time we were oversold, well, it's not even on this chart. We did test the 20 line here um, and tested it here just about as well, but we didn't quite break the 20 line. And then here we almost tested the 20 line, but not quite. So this is actually the first time it's been oversold on the 15 minute chart in the last two days. If I'm actually scrolling back on my other monitor, we hadn't been oversold on the 15 minute since the 28th of last month. So it's been a pretty strong uptrend and it's really unfortunate that it sold off this hard, but I think we can bounce back I mean, the, the best thing that we have going for us is the fact that the RSI did push out of the oversold area and we bounced off this channel. We didn't fall back down to this channel. Now, the only thing that has me worried is that the RSI, it, uh, you know, our candles, they didn't, they didn't, the price didn't change all that much. We went from about 65 and a half cents to about 69 cents and the RSI went about halfway into no man's land. So what that mean is Let's say that's about a, what would that be? 65 and a half, to about 60. it's about 4% price per share change. Another 4%, I mean 4 cent, not 4%, 4% 4 
four cent change would have pushed us to about 73 cents. So somewhere about here. And judging by the RSI where it went to the halfway point here, we probably would have went overbought somewhere around there. So if we connect this overbought area to that area that we just drew out on the chart, which is right about here. Well, you can see this is much lower than the overbought area we had there. We had here, even all the way back here and going so far as to even go back here, here, here. Actually, that was probably that was probably the last area. So you can see that would be just about even it would still be a bit lower of an overbought area. But that means all the gains from the last day and a half pretty much erased. And that's giving us an indication of the overall sentiment that the bears and the bulls have for this stock. So we really want to see this push back up to 89 cents. But that's quite a ways away now. Let's take a look at some other areas where we might kind of be able to find some uh, resistance or support. So 89 cents is the hard pivot point. But if we had to find another area, it would probably be somewhere about, let's make that a little more accurate, right about there. So we could probably find some support right at about 70, 75. Hopefully that's what will happen. We'll push up. Incidentally, that's right around where we were going overbought. So if we go overbought up here and then find support, then even if we kind of, you know, ideally we actually go overbought a little bit higher, we dip a little bit and then we actually push to the oversold area on the RSI. We bounce off the 20 on the RSI and we find support here. That would mean this is a higher oversold point from the oversold area we were at here. And then we can start working our way up to the 89 cent area. That's pretty much the most ideal thing that we'd see happen with the price per share and the RSI. And then of course, as that happens, the moving averages would start curving back up and we would have that 13 cross above the 20 and eventually both would cross over the 50. So that's what, in my opinion, the, the best situation would be for PTX right now. And I'll be keeping an eye out for that to happen. So before I finish this video, let me just draw this area here. So we want to get to this 77 and a half cent area, then make a push to 89 cents. And just to reiterate, it's really good that we didn't actually fall back down into this channel. We bounced right off it. And these pivot points I have down here are from months ago. From my last analysis, it was probably not months, but about a month ago, I think. Let me just check what the date was on that video. That was on June 23rd, so yeah, about a month and a half ago. And you can see they still played out perfectly, bouncing off that, so these pivot points are super important. Definitely want to keep that in mind as we watch PTX the rest of the week. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and please stay tuned for the next one. I'll see you then.